Hello, Martin Baker here from Baker's Garden Buildings. Wanted to show you this project finished uh, recently in East Dulwich in London. Um, I really squeezed this building in. We'd made it as wide as we could. It's 5.79. That's a strange measurement, but literally we're just getting it onto the boundaries. You might be able to see if I just come up there, you can just about see the roof overhangs work perfectly into the room. We've then got a 1.2 store. That leaves us with a 4.59 room with these 3.9 try sliding doors in there now this has got some great features this project so i'm going to show you around all of them those try sliding doors instead of bifolds in this instance have really worked well if you imagine that divided into five those windows would be quite column like and quite small so the try sliding is a lovely option still gives you a huge opening uh, plus you get that big uh, panoramic view from inside the building and this has got some great additions to it all of our typical stuff there's no timber outside um, we've got the mtx cladding on the front cement to the rear and the sides just under the 2.5 plan enrolled in our standard anthracite color um, really finished nicely um, and let me take you into the main room and show you what we've done here so try sliding doors I'll show you that in a moment inside beautiful room and the first time that I've been able to show you one of our new flat roof lights called an M glaze roof light if I pan around there so this is an almost flat roof light which gives a huge amount of light in here. It just totally changes the room and ju just makes it absolutely beautiful. Difficult for maybe you to tell, um, but yes, there is great. You see, as that light comes flooding in down through there, we can even upgrade to have little like, LED down lights for the, or up lights, should I say, for the, for the evening. The room itself is absolutely beautifully furnished, being used daily um, in lockdown um, by, by, by the clients. Um, and then we are in a London property, so you've got to remember there's always space needed. So what we've done is, on the end here, we've created some cupboards for all of the storage. Some lovely shelving that we've done into those. They're around about 450 deep. Um, I'm going to open both of those up just to show you that there. Kind of with like a hidden cupboard design using the same cladding as the inside, the uh, V200. So it's just a huge amount of space being used in there. Tucked away in there is PlayStation and other gaming stuff, which then links nicely to the TV. So again, slick, no wires, looks really nice. We've done all of the lighting, heating, and the internet in here. And let me just pan around again for you to show you that. A room, and then you see this room here. So part of the combination room, we've got a store that comes to about here, and then this is an occasional toilet. If I show you this in here, this is what's called a cassette toilet um, by Thetford, and a really nice design. Now, it isn't plumbed in, this is an unplumbed one. I'll show you the other side in a moment and how clever this is. But this is a really nice solution when the plumbing is really difficult to achieve. It's a much more cost-effective solution than that. Um, it's also worth, as I pan outside to say, believe it or not, this complete building was coming through the house. So the house you'll see here, a um, number of things had to come through. Um, all the heights were um, uh, confirmed to make sure that everything fitted through. So it's a really um, interesting um, design issues. We wanted these tri-sliding doors. They literally had 10 millimetres of space to go through the doorways. And you can see with those tri-sliders open how beautiful it is and integrated with the room. They're really cool because they actually work both ways. So we can actually slide those over. If I slide that now, you may be able to see me doing so. Really light, really easy. Aluminium in the anthracite is such a nice option. Um, and now you've got that option to open them the other way as well, as you can see there. So just a really nice, re re really, I love the tri-sliders. Now, storage building could be pretty boring, <laughs> but anyway, it does get to see what we can do. But what I've done is I've left this door open at the back there. That is the cassette part of the cassette toilet. So that empties out. You just um, pull out that cassette and then you take it to your house and empty it. Um, and that's the say, really nice option when plumbing isn't really a viable option um, or you don't, or it's really just for very, very occasional use. Um, so yeah, so there's all the things to show you. Those beautiful integrated um, cupboards there with the TV on the wall. Our first flat roof light there, which is uh, lovely. I'm really pleased with that. You can see the, um, uh, the fanlight window in the rear as well, just to give some ventilation in the room with that toilet room. Um, just a project I'm super proud of. And I think it kicks off our new brand being Baker's Garden Buildings um, really well to show you um, the level that we're now finishing buildings at and uh, what's possible. If this kind of garden building is of interest to you, give us a call. Um, keep up to date on our social medias. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be updating this as many times as we can, hopefully one a week, uh, projects that we're going to put on there. Thank you.